So one of our days off in Regina, we heard about this female Gordon Lightfoot. Her name was Joni Mitchell. Going to play a gig in Regina. She was brand new and headed to L.A. She was just leaving Saskatoon. And uh, we thought, well, we're going to go see her. We have a couple of days off. So we went to the Fourth Dimension. It was these little, you know, being in a coffee house, little round tables, little tiny things of coffee. And she's up there doing her folk music. And the whole place was a sellout, except there was one table that was empty. And it had reserve sign on it. So we were sitting there watching Joni play, and halfway through one of her songs, these two really hot-looking uh, babes walked in, a blonde and a brunette, and sat down at the table. And you guys don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you ladies will. At, when I saw these two chicks walk in, it was just like, oh, I gotta do something. I can't let this moment pass and not try to get to know them or something, or this will never happen again in my life and I'll be so sad forever. Um, so I approached our road manager, Jim Martin, and I said, Jim, because he had taken out a few girls. <laughs> <laughs> to me, he was an experienced guy. Jim, could you go sit at that table? Kind of introduce yourself. There's a blonde and a brunette. And um, there's like four chairs and two ladies sitting at it. Sit down next to the blonde. Don't sit near the brunette. Talk to them. Talk to the blonde. Don't talk to the brunette. And if you can get sitting down there, call me over to the table. Introduce me to them, and we'll see what happens but don't talk to the brunette. Their names were Laura Lee and Lorraine. They were sisters. In the middle of Joni's song, he goes over and sits there, Psst, he calls me over, I sit down, I sit at the table, I meet them, my heart's thumping and pounding. Um, he gets called away, and I'm there with the two of them for the rest of the night. I ask to take them home, I find out they're sisters. And so I take them home and I get enough of courage to say to the brunette, can I take you out tomorrow night? I'll have the, the night off. And there's a movie playing. And so I'm set to go to her house at like uh, 7 o'clock and pick her up. So I arrive at her house at 7 o'clock, and you guys will know this whole scenario. I'm a little bit early. If you look at my watch now, I'm always four or five minutes early. Because uh, I don't want to miss any opportunities. <coughs> Whether they're there or not. <laughs> Just in case. So I'm there early, and I'm waiting, waiting, and she is, of course, late. So 5 after 7 comes, 10 after 7 comes, quarter after 7 comes, she's not down. I'm in a room with a great big couch, a big potted plant, and a little tiny piano. I sit down at the piano, and I start to play this. Mm -hmm. 